big roof. One of our favorite places to hunt is Quail Point Hunt Club located in Zamora, California. Farming practices in California have almost completely removed areas where pheasants can breed and habitat that they can hide in from predators. So our population of wild pheasants has diminished greatly. Quail Point provides us a first class experience at hunting pheasants on hundreds of acres of open land. Brenda and I wanted to share this day with you so you could have an inside view of what you can expect on your hunt. All the information you will need to book your hunt will be at the end of this video or you can find it in our description. Have fun, be safe, and good luck. Looks like we got a north wind. So, Slight, yeah. If the, I don't know. Look at this guy's pointer. Look at that. Squirrel. <laughs> Squirrel pointer. <laughs> yeah, buddy. How you doing? Good to see you. All right, what are we doing with you guys today? How many birds we got? Whatever we have in our car. All right. Just five. Yeah, it's just the two of us. All right, we're going to field 17. 17. We are right in there, the parking lot right now. Out the gate left, mm -hmm. down the road, just short of three quarters of a mile. The first left here is County Road 89. Right. So just before this first left, you see a pull-off parking spot, a gravel parking lot. Oh yeah, yeah. Pull-off park there. It's got a fence line that goes down and over like this. My guys will meet you here. When they go to plant, you work your way down this fence line, stop here at the corner until they come out, and then you stay straight in the 17. Okay. Sweet. You guys are still catching birds, but they'll be here done shortly. We'll get you rolling here in a minute. No rush. All right, guys. Thanks, Dave. Have fun. Hey, We got some cloud cover. Yeah. Are you all done back here? Yeah. Sit. Good morning. I mean, you're her favorite yeah. guy, you know that. <laughs> I'm after all the dog's hearts. So we got five birds going out in 17. Okay. And, you know, tuck them and... Spread them out? Yeah. Make it a hunt? Make it a hunt.
I'm coming. Oh, whoa! You see it? Wow! You see it? Just watch the dog. Whoa! Whoa! Whoa. No! You whoa! I see it. Well, if you see it, go in and pick it out. Whoa! Whoa! I think that's a big rooster. Stella! Tell her, have, whoa! Stella! Nice shot. Beautiful. All right, find a bird. Easy. Easy. Whoa! 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 Be ready. Whoa! 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 I don't want you in front of me. Whoa! Whoa! Easy. No. Whoa, Stella. She's right on it right here. Whoa, Stella. Oop, I put a little too much lead on that one. Let's find that bird. Whoa. Easy. This bird moved. Oh, all right. Wow. wow. That bird was moving. She's not on the bird yet. Easy. Easy. Whoa. There it is. Yeah, I see it. Whoa. Whoa, Stella. Whoa. 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 There you go. Nice shot. Beautiful. Easy. Whoa. Right in there, just walk in, it'll bust out. All right. Heal up. Heal up. Hunt's over. Hunt's over. Hunt's over. Good girl. Okay. Heal. You did good, sweetheart. You did good. Stella, heel. All right, so there you have it. Here we are at Quail Point. Brendan and I just finished uh, an hour long hunt. It didn't take long. Uh, Stella got right on her game real quickly and, and put up these five birds. Uh, four hens. And uh, of course, Brenda got a nice rooster. It was all good shooting, all good pointing. Uh, I wish my dog was a little bit more steady. Uh, you're gonna hear me, uh, you probably heard me yell at her, you know, whoa, when she was creeping on those birds, but all the birds were moving. They were all moving. So uh, not that I'm making an excuse for my dog, or maybe I am, but uh, that's her excuse. The, you know, the, it's a young dog. This is a new game for her. And uh, you know, in a couple of years, all that will be worked out. I'm, I'm positive of it, um, but uh really enjoy hunting over this dog she did a great job uh brenda shot well today so really happy we're gonna go back to the clubhouse now check these birds in have them cleaned and then meet with the owner of quail point and uh have him uh, explain when he started how long the club's been in existence this is something that maybe you'd like to know it's we're within an hour and a half of the bay area uh to get out in country like this and hunt pheasants and chucker and quail i mean there are very few places like this uh in california and as far as i'm concerned this is one of the premier spots so we'll see you back at the clubhouse good morning everybody i'm steve this is david martin the owner and operator of quail point hunting club david how long, how long have uh, the club been you know open for hunting and 
And tell us, tell us about your uh, facility. Yeah, so we've got 1,100 acres here. We plant pheasants, quail, and chucker. Uh, next year will be our 30th season. Wow, wow. Yeah, and so we put out about 20,000 birds a year. Uh, we do day shoots, bird cards. Uh, we don't plant your birds till you get here. If you shoot extra birds, there's no limit and there's never any extra charge. Is this for members only or can somebody come up here for a day shoot? <clears throat> yeah, we don't have any membership fees here. You either buy a bird card and use that over the course of the season or you make a reservation and we charge you for the birds that day and we put them out when you get here. So literally somebody can just call up here and say, hey, next Wednesday, I'd like to come up with a buddy and a dog. Mm -hmm. And uh, wow, that's it's great. as easy as that. So you do save a couple bucks a bird if you buy a bird card. Sure, um, sure. But if you don't know how many times you're gonna come out and hunt and don't know how many times you can come out, um, you just play it by ear. Sure. It works out really good. Is there a limit of how many birds somebody can put out? No, there's no limit, no extra charge here. We shoot hens and roosters. If you put out three birds and you kill six, you just pay for three. Nice. Okay, yeah. so you're paying for the birds before they're actually planted. Yeah, so we're a punch on release club. Any overage is just it's all, gravy. All gravy. That's nice. And That's dogs? nice. Yeah, we do have rental dogs available. They're forty dollars for the day. Um, our dogs are, are trained very basically, so they handle at about 30, 40 yards. Uh, when they find birds, they go on point. You guys flush them, shoot them, and they'll track them down for you. So there's not a lot of handling. You don't need to be an experienced dog handler. Uh, we make it really easy for you. That's perfect. So somebody could come out of the Bay Area, say, mm -hmm. come up here, rent a dog, buy some birds, be planted, and have a great experience out there. That's field. right. That's awesome. It's great. That's awesome. It's a lot of fun out here. Now, I noticed that there's a lot of throwing machines out in this mm -hmm. backfield here. In fact, I actually shot sporting clay here. Yep. This is a, seems to be a big deal, right? It is. We've got uh, about 100 machines. Uh, we do tournaments. Uh, you can just come out and shoot. Uh, same thing. No, no, uh, no uh, membership fees. Uh, but if you want to go out and shoot a box of shells or a case of shells, you can go do it. It's 42 cents a target. That's nice. And and do you conduct or do you hold, uh, you know, um, regulated shoots, registered shoots? Yeah, there? we have registered shoots every month, uh, February through November. Uh -huh. um, so January and December, there's no registered shoots. But every month there's a schedule. And, uh, you know, we, we throw a lot of birds. We threw uh, 45,000 targets two weekends ago. Oh, my ago. God. I had no idea. Yeah. I had no idea. Yeah, a lot of well, fun. On the way up here, we're, I was thinking about when the first time I came to this club. Mm -hmm. And it was literally 1999. So I knew mm -hmm. that you had been in business for at least 20 years, mm -hmm. right? So 30 years. That's amazing. Yeah, that's awesome. pretty awesome. Now, what's the connection between this club and Olive Hill Kennels? So I own both places. Uh, the kennel is about 15 miles from here. Uh, we board dogs, breed. Uh, we do uh, basic obedience, uh, upland game, waterfowl training. Uh, if you're just going out of town for the weekend, we can put your dog in a kennel run and take care of him while you're gone. Sweet. I, I, I know about the kennel because last year we took my uh, short hair mm -hmm. over there for the rattlesnake training, mm -hmm. which was fantastic. We yeah. live in Lake County, lots yeah. of snakes. Yeah. And she hasn't been bit yet, so maybe it worked. No, it's, it's a good training program. It was. Uh, we're doing it again this year, uh, the first Sunday of April. And, okay. Uh, um, it'll be busy. We do about 85, 90 dogs in a day, and it's yeah. a real quick process. Yeah, it took about, oh, maybe 15 minutes. Yeah, I 15, think, 20 minutes is yeah. all I need you for. They have some big snakes. Yes, <laughs> they do. pretty cool. They do. They, and they train them with sight, sound, and scent. So it's not, it's all three senses. Uh, if they see a snake here or smell it, they're going to avoid it. Yeah. So. The season here begins when and ends when? Mm -hmm. We go the third Saturday of October, same as the uh, opening day of duck season. Okay. And then uh, we will go as far into March as we can. Yeah. Um, this year it's going to be March 20th will be our last day of the okay. season. Okay, so this is it. This is all, we just filled our we've card. Got, so. we got two weeks left. Fantastic. Well, listen, man, thanks a lot. Thanks for coming out. It's We're going to be back you guys next year, year again. I, I love it here. I think you guys are great. And Thank you. We look forward, forward to it. coming back. It's going to be awesome. Thanks, bud. Thanks. All right. All right, we had a great time uh, hunting at Quail Point today. I hope you all enjoyed watching the show. Um, David's information is going to be following up as we're closing out. We're headed home now. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next one.